Hello, everybody. Good evening. So let's talk about does your child need to be put to sleep for any dental work? Maybe you've just taken them to the dentist. Your child has six cavities and it's recommended that the child be put to sleep to fix those cavities. So I am not a dentist. I am a dental hygienist. I've been a dental hygienist for about 17 years now, and I currently have my own dental hygiene practice. And I see a lot of children. I see a lot of families where they want their teeth cleaned all in the same day while I'm there, I'm going to see their child as well. It doesn't matter on the age, they could be 18 months, they could be three years old. I love to see children and make sure their teeth and oral health are doing amazing because it's good to prevent. You always want to prevent cavities in children. But what do you do when they get something? Do they need to be put to sleep? I have parents messaging me where they're told by their dentist they need to have cavities fixed. Their child needs to have cavities fixed. It's going to be $5,000 because they need to put them to sleep. That's just how it is. And parents want a second opinion. So I talk about a couple things. First, I do need to come and see the child. I need to see what those cavities look like, which teeth those cavities are in. There's a couple things you need to think about. Is that tooth going to fall out next month? If it's gonna fall out next month, why even fix the cavity? Because the tooth is gonna fall out. It's not wrong to fix the cavity, of course not. But why would you spend the money if the tooth is gonna fall out next month or within six months? Why would you? But if the child is in pain because the cavity is so deep, it has now affected the nerve of the tooth, then yes, you need to get that fixed because you don't even wanna wait another day if the child is in pain. But I always ask the parents, is your child in pain? If they have 20 cavities, I ask them, is the child in pain? I let them know, I show them a chart of when each tooth is approximately going to fall out. If it's gonna take three years, then yes, those cavities need to be fixed because they're not gonna stay the same. Most likely they're probably going to get worse and they're going to cause pain eventually. But if they're going to fall out within six months, why put you and your child through that? Having to put them to sleep, you're paying $5,000. Why? But there is something that I do as well. So I would never say you have a mouthful of cavities. Let's do nothing because you're going to lose. The child is going to lose those teeth within six months. I would not say that. There is actually a liquid that we can apply with a little micro brush to those cavities to kill the bacteria that causes the cavity and that will prevent it from getting bigger. But the catch is it has to be reapplied often. After the first application, depending on the cavity, that, that um, liquid might have to be reapplied in two to four weeks. And then after that, it might be best to have it reapplied once a month. But the cost is different depending on which office you go to, but I charge $25 for that each time. But that's killing the cavity, killing the bacteria. It's not making the cavity or tooth look different. It's going to look exactly the same. It's not a filling. A filling is when the dentist takes out the cavity with the high-speed handpiece, so the cavity is not there. They clean out the tooth and then fill up the tooth so it looks like a nice normal tooth again. Okay, the liquid that I apply is just a little liquid with the micro brush. I can do it on a two year old, no problem. It takes half a second. I can do it super fast. They just have to open for a second and I go super fast. The liquid's applied and it's already working. They can eat, drink anything right away. But again, it has to be reapplied often. But parents much prefer that method than the method of having their child be put to sleep spending $5,000. Yes, the cavities are fixed. The cavities are done, but, or sorry, the cavities are fixed. The cavities are gone, but $5,000 later, the, the, the child was put to sleep. That's very traumatizing for both the child and the parents. Usually I should, I shouldn't say always, but usually of course that would be traumatizing to me, to be honest. Whereas I come in with a liquid with a micro brush, it's killing the cavity, stopping it from getting worse. Yes, it has to be constantly reapplied. It takes two seconds and that's it. The appointment's done. The child's happy. They're not spending $5,000. They're spending $25, but we do have to monitor it. I let the parents know, monitor your child. Look every night at those cavities. If they're getting worse, 
I'm probably going to tell you this isn't good. You might have to go to the dentist to get them fixed with the filling. But if they're not getting worse, if they're staying the same, there's no pain and they're going to lose that tooth soon, this is the better option in my opinion. So you have options. Please explore your options. Talk to your dental hygienist. There are other things you can do so you don't have to traumatize your child or traumatize you because believe me, when it comes to dental work, healthcare, anything like that, once there's a bad experience, especially in children, they don't forget it, okay? Or it's going to really hinder their next experiences, right? So I hope that helps you guys. Please comment below with any questions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.